Hey y'all, I told y'all I was coming back to talk about The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filial. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Books with Kimberly. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Y'all, I am so excited to talk about The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filial. So let's get right into it. This book is a compilation of short stories and all of them are about black women who are dealing with just their daily lives. How their church going upbringing has affected their lives as adults. These are some really good short stories. I really recommend that y'all read this book, especially because this month is Pride Month. So this book has LGBTQIA representation. There are two short stories that really kind of touch on sexuality. And so I'm going to talk about one of them, at two of them actually. So the first short story was Eula. And this was very interesting because Eula is about these two best friends. One of them's name is Eula and they are both single women in their 40s in their careers. Eula is pressed about finding her bow ass. That's when I was like oh yeah this is really the secret lives of church ladies because that is something we hear a lot in church about finding your bow ass like ladies y'all need to find y'all bow ass and so she's looking to find her bow ass but her and her best friend have a very interesting very interesting relationship. I'll just leave it right there. Another one of the short stories is called Peach Cobbler, which I thought was very interesting, honey. And it had all the messiness that Kimberly loves, honey. Because in this story, the young girl was in high school. Honey, the pastor was stopping by to taste her mama's good old peach cobbler. Now, I love peach cobbler too. But this got to be some really good peach cobbler for him to be cheating on his wife. To come see old girl's mama every Monday, honey. Never fails. So, this was really interesting. Especially when this young girl starts going to tutor the pastor's son. And it's kind of like, I was the whole time, I'm like, now, is sis going to tell on her mama? Like, what's going to happen? And it was real interesting because her mom would never let her eat the peach cobbler. The peach cobbler was for the pastor. She grew this, like, hunger for the peach cobbler and ended up learning how to make it herself. She got a job so she could buy ingredients and make the peach cobbler herself. That's how much she wanted it and to replicate it. And it's very interesting how... Her replicating her mom is, it kind of leads her into some sticky situations in the future. Y'all gotta read these short stories to know what I'm talking about. One of my favorite ones in this book was called Snowfall. And Snowfall is actually about a lesbian couple. And one of the main characters, Lily, in this short story, she, it is Lily, and I cannot think of her partner's name, but Lily is just reflecting on how much she misses her mom. They're living somewhere where it's very snowy. I think it might be Colorado. And she is missing the South where her mom is. And so she just starts reflecting on how much she misses her mom, her grandma, those Southern aunties, and how she missed going to her grandma's house and sitting on her grandmama's bed and watching TV, how much she misses eating fried chicken with her family and pound cake watching her grandma make um, banana pudding. And y'all, this story kind of got to me because it really brought out a lot of those memories that I kind of had pushed away. Because when the elders of your family, especially, especially those elder women in your family pass away, you kind of forget about those childhood memories. And oh, I used to love going to my grandmother's house and my mom and my aunts would cook for her and we would eat with my grandma and do her hair and we would watch Texas, um, we would watch Walker, Texas Ranger and Touched by an Angel and my grandma would just be smiling, having her family around her and even my great aunt Lorraine. It was so special watching her make cakes and ice cakes in her kitchen and she loved when we would visit her and she would cook for us and she was all, she always had a cake on display. We loved her cake. So this was so nostalgic for me and it really touched me. And it also made me really sad that 
the two of the two women in this short story they are disconnected from their family and a lot of those traditions and memories because they chose to love each other because they chose to love each other they were kicked away from their family and now this girl she was once a mama's girl like i am now she's no longer her and her mom have a very strained relationship and they keep it very cute and cordial so that story was very interesting the last story that i'm going to talk about was my favorite one y'all and it was how to make love to a physicist this was the this short story gave me all the romantic feels that i needed and it was so cute because this met this fine man at like some kind of conference she was at. And at the conference, she finds out he's a physicist. She's an art teacher. They both work with kids. They talk, they have dinner together, they exchange numbers. And when she goes back home where she lives states and miles away, he does text her, but she ignores him. And like the whole time is just going through how She's ignoring his text. I mean, she goes the whole summer ignoring his text messages. And she's talking to her therapist about this feeling of this being too good to be true. Like, he couldn't possibly want me. But through her therapy, through talking through her childhood, she starts to let him back in. But then she closes the door again. But then she opens the door and he's right there again. It was just really cute and I really related to it because sometimes you do be scared. You be like, this is too, with anything in life, you be like, this is just too scary. Like, I can't do this. Like, this is too good to be true, really doubting yourself. And it really talked about how a lot of those doubts came from her church upbringing of like, you know, her mother critiquing her and the way she dressed at church, the way she's supposed to act as a young lady. And how that affects her as a grown adult who's trying to be in a romantic relationship. So I really enjoyed this story. I enjoyed all of them. They were so interesting. And if any of you have read this book, let me know which one was your favorite. Thank you again for tuning in to another Books with Kimberly video.